is overrated, underrated. This is a classic here. All right, overrated. All right, brother, I got one for you. Overrated. Trying to have a logical argument with a woman you're dating. Now, just wait. Do I need to be here for this? Yeah, yeah, because you need to balance it out so this doesn't come off as totally misogynistic. All right? What? You don't have to be here. <laughs> no, go ahead. All right, just come on, Nia. Be, be fun. Have fun. All right, overrated. Trying to have a logical argument with a woman you're dating. It never ceases to amaze me. Every time I overhear some retard complaining about some chick that won't listen, uh, won't listen to him and, and argues with them all the time. Any veteran dude who's been with a chick over 48 hours knows that they don't stay on topic and they don't think logically. They aren't trying to fix shit. It's an emotional thing with them. So why anyone thinks they can talk to a chick in that mindset is beyond me. The way I see it, most guys go one of two routes when presented with an angry bitch. This guy seems enlightened, right? Yeah, exactly. Why should I listen to anything this <laughs> fucking asshole has to say? <laughs> Don't let him make you mad. He's throwing you off your game. Anyways, either they choose the path of least resistance, saying yeah over and over again and nodding and gazing into oblivion. A lot of guys do that. Those are the henpeck guys. All right, yeah, okay, okay, mm -hmm. fine, yeah, yeah. Because um, they know whatever they say won't make a difference. Or they pander to their petty, weak emotions and sensitivities by talking slowly uh, at a dull whisper, trying to calm and appease them. Both methods have their benefits. However, I'd like to offer a third avenue, if I may. I've been faithfully married seven years now, and it works so far. Not that I'm an expert, but here you go. Here's his, his third one, all right? First, like any competitive dude, you beat them at their own game. When they come at you saying something like, why is this stock on the ground and I told you to put it, blah, 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 in that bitchy, whiny, I want to fight voice, wagging their finger and cocking their head sideways. Are you this guy in a reality show or is this how his wife reacts? Um, anyways, you just reply in your loudest tone, <laughs> whatever the fuck the last thing that pissed you off was. Um... And as you say it, you keep eye contact and walk straight up to them. So basically, if you said, why, is it, why are these socks on the ground? I'm supposed to, in my loudest voice, go and not break eye contact, walk right up to you and be like, why didn't you do the dishes last night? And, and not, what is that supposed and, to do? Oh, wait, he's not done yet. This is the beginning. This is the first quarter, okay? Let, let the game plan unfold here. <laughs> um. All right, where the hell am I? I lost my place. Uh, usually this will startle them. Um, oh, God. As they come back. No, come on, Nia. You got to listen to this. As they come back. <laughs> He's this is like they tell you what to do when approaching a bear or, or something like that. <laughs> okay? Make a lot of noise. <laughs> Just let this me finish. douchebag. Let me finish, Nia. No, I'm, 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 Just, I'm here. I'm here. I'm okay. here. I'll be right back. All right. As they come back with what uh, – as they come back with, what does that have to do with whatever we're arguing about? You just pull down your pants and start jacking your dick while they stand there with that dumb, confused look on their face. Nia, come on. you got to be back here for the reactions. All right? So, obviously <laughs> And while they try it, no, this He's is obviously joking. Maybe this is forward thinking. Let me, let me finish here. This is a new strategy. And while they try to regain whatever thought they had in that scattered brain skull, you just keep going to town, not saying a word. If they talk to you till completion, you just say thank you. That's about what that argument was worth, and you walk away. As you leave, pick up the sock or whatever and toss it in the hamper. There you go. That's, that's his thing. Well, at least he still puts it away. Yeah. Yeah, so everybody's happy. No, he's joking. He, he, this is obviously he, he, somebody who's pandering <laughs> to your over-the-top, completely ridiculous, misogynistic statements you no. say on a weekly basis on this fucking podcast. No, and he's trying it. to impress you by coming up with, I've seen this time uh -huh. and time Why don't you again. do the dishes? <laughs> wait a minute. Let me, wait a second. Copy Shut up. No, this is just some copycat fan. I'm supposed to take this seriously like this is a real thing? I don't know. I don't, I'm not giving this another fucking thought. Next. Anyways, <laughs> so he said, Bill, your way with dealing with women is pretty good, but it's passive aggressive. I don't even know what he's talking about. And I know how you feel about that shit, uh, about being passive aggressive. Uh, even if you're doing it to maintain the high road for your future breakup 
Why does it matter if the re- what does it matter if the relationship is over? I don't know what he thinks my strategy is. Anyways, he said you might as well say fuck it and go out in a blaze of glory. Granted, I know about losing your cool and shit like that, but in the end, it just builds up and leads to a bigger blow up. You end up st- uh, staring at the ceiling or yelling as you drive in the car, thinking, "Damn, I should have come back with this or that." No, fuck that. Uh, no matter how witty or snappy your comeback is, it wouldn't have made any difference because that bitch isn't going to listen. The only thing uh, – you wouldn't know that this guy's happily married. The only thing – Yeah, le- you don't sound happily married. Letting it – you're letting this guy get to you. He's totally winning right now. You're getting mad. He said to pull out his dick and jack it till completion. That's what I'm saying. This is bullshit. This Obviously. Isn't even real. So why am I listening to he's this? He's just trying to be funny. Yeah, that's, that's what – And you know what that's you're what doing? I said. You're being a fun sponge. You're just <laughs> sucking all the fucking – that totally isn't real. You're taking it seriously. So this guy actually asked me what my strategy is with women. Well, I'm going to tell you this. I actually uh, – I'm doing a giant chunk of material on this. Um, I disagree with you. Women argue stay on topic if they're right. All right? If they're wrong, that's when they do all the diversionary tactics and they try to make it about something else. And if you're not going for it, if you don't fall for their diversionary tactics, then their last ditch effort is try to is to try to make you mad. My strategy, yeah, is you don't you don't lose your cool. You stay on target, right? Like that dude in Star Wars. You stay on target, and um, when they're saying over the top mean shit, you don't respond to it because that's just them. Um, you ever see a goat get choked to death by a python? Anybody else watch those fucked up YouTube videos? You know, they're stunned at first, they fight, and then there's that middle part like, dude, what the fuck? What is this? And then the very end, when they only have a little bit of air left, they fucking kick in their legs like a maniac before they die. That's the female version. That's the goat version getting, <laughs> getting killed by a python, Jesus Christ, of, of women when they start saying that mean shit. That's that last little kick of the legs before it's over. So I don't respond to that shit anymore. Actually, I do a little bit, but I, I, I've got myself to the point where I know that it's happening. And then that's what I did yesterday. She started doing that shit. And I just took my plate of food and I walked in the other room. And uh, I'm telling you. But the big thing is, is if you're wrong, you have to admit it. Because that gives you credibility in the future. So there you go, sir. And that was an absolutely fucking hilarious email. And it made it even funnier with Nia sitting here taking it seriously. That's ridiculous. He would he wouldn't do that. I don't I'm calling bullshit. He didn't jerk off till he came. <laughs> like his wife. I got to tell you though, uh that would be uh that would be fucking hilarious to do that. I mean, I could stand there and rub my dick, but it would just be so funny to me. I don't think I could get a hard on. I got to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. All right. 